a quick car chat about masks and why they're still relevant in 2026. So before we get into whether masks work, let's reset something first. For most of our lives, we were never really encouraged to wear masks if we had a cough, cold or flu. If you, ha- if you did, you just kind of got on with it, didn't you? Masks only became our kind of our everyday conversation with COVID. And it's completely understandable that people still think of them as just a kind of a pandemic thing, not an everyday health choice. But masks aren't just about COVID. They're about any respiratory infection that spreads through the air like flu, colds, RSV and COVID. And they can help reduce the chance of passing this on to those you love or who are vulnerable. So when researchers look at groups who use masks properly versus groups who don't, the ones who do get fewer respiratory infections overall, not zero, but less. And the person who, if the person who's ill wears a mask, we call that source control, it cuts down the amount of virus they spray into the air. So that's how you should think about it. Like a better version of just putting your hand over your mouth if you're going to cough or you sneeze. So how do they work? Well, when you breathe or you talk or you cough or you sneeze, you're not just firing out single naked virus particles floating around on their own. You're sending out tiny kind of like wet bits of spit and snot into the air, droplets and aerosols. And those wet bits are what carry the virus from your lungs into someone else's face. A mask catches a lot of those wet bits before they blast out into the air. Not all of them, not perfectly, but a lot. So there's less gunk in the air, means less virus in the air, which means there's less chance of passing your flu, COVID or hacking cough onto your kids, your partner or the elderly person next to you on the bus. And any mask is better than nothing, but there are some that are clearly better. A well-fitted medical mask is a really decent start. If you want to be extra careful, for example, you live with someone very vulnerable, then an FFP2 or 3 is a gold standard. And yes, I practice what I preach. You can probably hear I don't feel too tip-top at the moment. And I have been wearing a mask at home when I'm with my family because I'd rather be the one person in the house who feels rough rather than everyone. And masks shouldn't really be about politics. They're just one small boring practical tool like using tissues, washing your hands, staying home when you can. That reduces the chance you're going to give your germs to someone else. So next time you've got a cough, cold, flu, COVID, and you're going to be indoors around other people, just pop a decent mask on. It shouldn't be controversial. It's just about not sharing your bugs.